Are you ready to say goodbye to filter socks? If so, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to another episode of CBTV. My name is Carlos and I will be your host for today. In this exciting episode, we will cover the assembly and installation of the brand new clear filter by CoralView. By far, one of the biggest husbandry complaints from reefers today is a filter sock. While the benefits of a filter sock are undeniable, so are the frustrations. Filter socks help us keep our tanks clean by filtering water and trapping debris, making it easy for us to remove. The problem is that they still require us to remember to remove them. If we do not, or forget to do so, the filter sock will clog up to the point that water will not get passed through them. While this is not such a bad thing, the trap food and debris within the sock will soon begin to decay and release unwanted nutrients back into the water. Not only that, after removing the filter socks, they are smelly and something we'd rather not deal with. Who hasn't gotten the look from their significant other when you try to wash the filter socks in the same laundry machine that washes your family's clothes? Solution, fleece filter machine. Or is that really a solution? The current machines out there are expensive and they all require additional space within or above the sump. And they all require intricate plumbing modifications. The Clear Filter by CoralView is a machine that takes the best of both worlds to create a one-of-a-kind, patent-pending cleaning machine. Water passes through the Clear Filter and as the filtering material becomes saturated with waste, the water level will begin to rise. When the water makes contact with the optical sensor, a motor is activated to advance new cleaning filtering material. As the clean material is exposed, water is now able to flow freely, lowering the water level on the sock tray and deactivating the motor. This process is repeated as needed, allowing you to forget about filter maintenance. Unlike other filters on the market, the clear does not take away additional space inside, above, behind, or next to the sump. Simply remove your filter sock from its holder and drop the clear filter in its place. The clear is a true plug and play filter. Before we proceed with the installation, let's make sure that our system is fully compatible with the clear filter. Our sump should have a sock tray that is capable of holding at least 1.5 inches of water above the filter sock tray. If water does not collect above the filter sock tray, the clear will not operate correctly. If you do not have a sock holder, a special bracket can be purchased separately. Please visit CoralView.com for all available accessories. The sump should also have no less than 8.2 inches of space below the filter sock tray. And the sump should have a large enough opening above the filter sock tray to accommodate the footprint of the clear. In addition to sump compatibility, we also need to make sure that the clear can handle the flow speed going into our sumps. The number of clear units needed is not based on the number of filter socks your sump holds. Just because your sump can hold two filter socks does not mean that you require two clear filters. The number of units needed is mainly based on total water flow going into the sump. The clear DI4 unit can handle flows up to 750 gallons per hour, while the clear DI7 can handle up to 1800 gallons per hour. So, if you have a sump that holds two filter socks, but you are only moving 600 gallons per hour, you technically only need one filter. You can then install a diverter cap, which is sold separately, on the open filter sock holder to either close or reduce the flow that will bypass the clear filter. On the other hand, if you have the same sump and you are moving 1,000 gallons per hour, you will need to run two clear filters in a master-slave setting where both clear filter motors are connected to a single controller with a single sensor. Now that we've covered the system requirements, let's get ready for clear filter 101 assembly and installation. Before we proceed with the assembly, let's make sure that all components are included and nothing is missing from the box. The clear should include clear filter body, 150 micron filter roll controller, optical sensor, power supply, motor, 
fleece supply and collection spindles, rubber vent pipes, additional collars, just in case your filter stock tray in your sump is slightly smaller or bigger than the pre-installed collar. To begin assembly, open the filter and insert the short side of the rubber vent pipe into the holder, leaving the long side upwards. Insert the optical sensor into the slot on the main body and tighten the nut. Assembly is now complete. Now it is time to thread the fleece in place. Remove the cover from the unit as well as the side wall from the bottom chamber. Take the supply spindle, which is the larger of the two, and insert it into the roll. Load into the cradle, making sure that it rolls over and not under. Pull the fleece over the first guide roller and then under the second roller on the base of the unit. Continue to thread the fleece down the bottom of the chamber and under and around the lower chamber guides. Pull the fleece up the bottom chamber and then on the outside of the last two guide rollers. Center and tape the fleece to the top of the collection spindle, making sure the key is on the same side as the motor cradle. Manually roll the fleece three to five full turns, then attach the spindle to the motor. Glide the motor into its cradle and then remove excess slack by manually turning the clean roll the opposite direction. Put the cover back in place and finally reinstall the bottom chamber sidewall. Now, I'll give you a private moment so you can say goodbye to your filter socks. The clear filter is a direct replacement for filter socks on sumps with sock trays. Simply remove your sock and drop the clear in. For tight installations, the clear filter hinges a 90 degree angle, making it easy to install in tight spaces or under stands with low height clearance. The final step is to install the controller. Attach the motor to the motor input on the controller and then the sensor to the TS input. Finally, attach the power supply to the controller and connect it to a power outlet. Be sure to hang the controller in a dry area away from water. A drip loop should be arranged for each cord connected to the controller. Your clear filter is now ready to be used. Well, that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more about the clear filter, including detailed specs and beautiful high quality pictures, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralViewAquariumProducts.